Big fish. Oh, that's a nice pike, Amanda. Got this nice little pike here. We're gonna go for that jellyfish bite as well. Awesome fish, great way to start the year. What's going on folks, TCG back at it again with another video. Today I got an iFish Pro 2.0 here and I am going to show you how to properly set this up so you can start fishing with it. Alrighty, so we got the iFish Pro 2.0 here and I'm gonna show you how to rig this up. I had to watch a couple videos on this. I tried taking it out on the ice once this year and I could not figure out for the life of me what I needed to do to set this thing up. But I'll tell you right now, first things first, doesn't come in the box, but you need a uh, bobber stop. And I saw a video by a guy. If I can find the video, I'll link it below. But he recommended putting a bead as well, because when you buy a pack of bobber stoppers, they come with beads. So I'll recommend it too. I don't know anything about this, but might as well recommend it. He uh, he seems to have a bit of experience with this, so. So how you put a bobber stop on, it's got this plastic tube that has the line around it and you just put your fishing line through the plastic tube like this and then you just pull the, uh, the bobber stop off just like that and then you pull this tight and then this can slide up and down on your line. Here's the bead that comes with it as well and we'll put that on right there. So you got your bobber stopper, the bead, and then what else you need is there's a trigger that comes with the iFish Pro. That's gonna be this red thing here. It's like a it's like a hook, I guess. But it hooks on to the iFish Pro to set it off properly. And it's just this red trigger. That's all it is, just that. And you're gonna run your line through that. There's a, there's a hole on the end of it right here that you'll run your line through. And then that should not go anywhere, which is what we want. And then we're gonna put on our hook. So I'm putting on a tungsten jig frostbite, pretty big size, cause I'm going after pike and walleye on this thing. And I'm gonna put a live minnow on this as well. All right, so the camera battery decided to die on me. So I'll just pick up where I was. So I just got the bobber stopper on, it's right here. I'll snip these tag ends. Put a bead on there as well, just to give it that extra tug. And there's the iFish Pro trigger mechanism. And then I got my Frostbite Tungsten Jig here. Just gonna tie it on with a polymer knot, no leader. And that is the mechanism. That is the rig. I'm pretty sure at least. Very, pretty straightforward now that I actually know. I'll just cut some of these bobber stops. Tie guns. There we are. But yeah, so very straightforward setup. You just got a bobber stopper, can slide up and down on the line to a bead, which will give it that extra oomph to set it off. And your mechanism there, and then your hook. So that should do the trick. Let's get some shots of the close-up so you can see what the rig looks like and then we'll go set this bad boy up. Alrighty, so we are out here at the hole. I got the iFish Pro down already. Um, but we gotta properly set this thing up. So here you got the, uh, this is the arm. It folds out from here and it's got this screw here. Makes it fully adjustable. I already adjusted that to where I want it. So you gotta lock it in, hold the bottom screw with your finger. It doesn't have to be super tight, but just tight enough. Rod in the rod holder, got the bail open. Bobber stopper and bead down here, hooked the mechanism onto the red flap, put the flag down, and essentially how this should work, let me try it, is if a fish pulls from down here, It'll go up just like that and you'll see a flag. So we'll get that set again. Put it in. And that's how you set an iFish Pro 2.0. Not very difficult, but the biggest thing 
Don't forget a bobber stop. Alrighty, well, that is how you properly set an iFish Pro. This was my first time using it, so hopefully we get a fish on it. If you do, you'll see that footage right now. Uh, but if not, I hope you enjoyed the video. If it helped you out, if you got any questions about the iFish Pro, leave a comment below, I'll try to answer it. But uh, I don't know much about it. First time fishing with it, tried one other time, but forgot a bobber stopper, so do not forget a bobber stopper. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you got any questions or concerns, leave a comment below because we love hearing from you guys. If you ain't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe because we're dropping videos every Sunday. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.